I have this thing for antique used bottles, labels, ephemera, and that's uh, something that was never intended to last. It's basically something you just toss and throw away or had its purpose was never to be saved and used. But I happen to love things like that. And you can still find, it's called new old stock, which means it's brand new, but it's old. So it's new old stock. So therefore, when I went to Paris last time, I found there's one particular dealer that I love and she always has so much new old stock and I found these fabulous pharmaceutical labels and they're all in the same color scheme which is pretty exciting because normally they're not and so I have all this wonderful black gold brown color palette that I can work with and this is an example of what an original label would have looked like on a glass jar. This one's lived on this jar for a hundred years. It was put there from day one and it was before we had the actual glue or Elmer's that we have now. A way they used to actually put paper labels, like this is a paper label, it had, there, there was no plastic coatings, there was nothing to be used at the time. This actual label would have been, believe it or not, simply dipped in milk, whole milk, placed on there almost like a decal, wipe smooth, it might have a little bubble vacation on there, but those bubbles are gonna suck and dry away, and this is the end result. It does dry smooth, sticks to the glass, and has no sheen whatsoever. An easy way for us to duplicate that is easy. Well, you can do the milk, and I suggest trying it. It's kinda cool, actually. But a more permanent, sealed up version is to use simple white school glue. So, what that's called, and I'm sure a lot of people are familiar, it's decoupage. Decoupage is a French word, basically it is to adhere a piece of paper onto another surface, and that includes glass. And it's so super, super simple. So what I've got is these wonderful labels that I picked up in Paris, and all these labels we are downloading onto a site. You'll find it, you'll see on there where to actually get the labels at. If you click, you can upload them to you, print them off, and make anything you want with them, and I hope you get creative. It'd be anything from a label on a jar, you can print it onto fabric and make a pillow, you can make it giant scale and make a wall hanging. There's so many things that you could do with these because they're such a great, I mean, these are great graphics, which I just, I mean, they just don't do that anymore. I love it. So, okay, so anyways, here's how you start. I made a bunch of these, these are the actual originals, and then I also had a jar that was big, so I felt like the scale of this little label was just not going to look good. So I printed this out just onto regular paper. This is nothing fancy, this is your usual cheapo paper that you throw into your printer at home, and printed it off at, from its original, I think I did it at 165%. So you can round the corners, you can leave a little bit of a white border or you can trim super tight and keep the gold at bay. I mean it's whatever you want it to do. So I just did a quick little cut and from there you can, I have my eyes on a large jar. Like I have this wonderful old pharmacy jar that I found at a flea market and this thing has the original little spigot. This would have been for in somebody's laboratory at one time but for me I think it's so sweet. Well this I printed this label large because I envision this to be a large label just like that onto this. The rest of them I think work in the original size but this particular label I did large. And this one, uh, you're going to see these all when they're completely done but I'm going to do a little tiny one for time's sake so that it's super fast. So basically, here's another antique jar, and these don't have to be antique. You can throw them on new jars, you can throw them on, it doesn't have to be an old jar whatsoever. So because of the design of this bottle and how it's got this ver vertical shape, I feel like this vertical would, would be the best suited for it. The back has an embossing on it. I feel like the front might be better because it fits within it. So this is how simple this is. Basically you take white glue and water it down and 
it needs to be a thinner consistency and that'll keep the paper from bubbling so much. So this is straight strength right now and I just you just add a little bit of a water. It's not a perfect science. It doesn't matter if it if you goof it up if it's too thin, add some more glue. If it's too thick, add some more water. Seriously, you can't go wrong with it. You're going to think that yeah, you're making a mess and you're making mud and it's all bubbling up and you're going to think it's a disaster. But really, it's at the end. When you come back and look at it, when it's all dry, it just sort of sucks up to the glass and works great. So this is still a little bit on the thick side, but it'll work just fine. Basically, it's this simple. You smack it on the glass. So easy. Then to make this so it doesn't bubble as much, I paint it on the back of the page as well. And then th it, this way, this will just suck against the glass and it'll draw in the paper right to the, the this is almost works like a glue and draws the paper into it to adhere all the way around. So then now you just take this side it's this simple. And then you're like, oh my gosh, I don't want to put, it's a real label, you're going to put glue right over the top? Yeah, I'm going to put glue right over the top. I know, you, you think you're going to ruin it, but you don't. So basically, it goes right over the top, I'm gluing right over the top. And sometimes, to get these edges, they have to stay pretty moist, because what they're going to want to do is roll up and roll off. So if you keep the glue really thick around that edge, by the time you brush it down, you'll see how literally it just adheres right to this glass. And that's it. That's all you do. I'm not kidding. We're done. We're absolutely done. So that's it. Now what I'm going to do is give this a time to dry and see how it's starting to bubble. It looks like it's going to bubble up and pull away from the glass. That's okay. It's okay, it's all part of the process and that's gonna kinda bubble up but then all of a sudden you're gonna come back and you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, it totally went and went right back down flat to the glass. So I'm gonna let this dry. I mean, you can clean it up a little bit like this with your hands. I am one who gets my hands dirty in everything I do, so no manicures here. But anyway, so you clean this up a little bit. I'm gonna give this some little bits of time to dry and you watch. I'm gonna go have a, um, I think I'll go have a root beer float. I've got some A&W in there that's just dying to be busted into and a new half gallon of ice cream. So I'm gonna have that and by the time I eat it, come back, you're gonna see that this is done. I'll see you in about 10. Bye. Okay, so uh, it's been about, mm, I wanna say 15 minutes, that's it. I've had a root beer float. I went outside, did a quick little er errand, came right back in the house and checked on my little creations. And I have to say, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. They look so good. <laughs> they look so good. Okay, first of all, I just have a damp rag and what I'm doing is getting all the extra that you go over spray basically and wiping it all off the glass because it will leave that milky residue. But look at that. Can you see? I mean, it is smooth. There's not a bubble. This looks so authentic. Like this was original to this bottle. I mean, it looks so good. I'm so excited. So, okay, basically what I'm doing, I, you have to clean off all the glue residue, but really your project's gonna turn out a lot better if you do give it a lot of overspray to make sure it adheres. Don't try to make it perfect. Those are the ones that are gonna peel and give you a little bit of a, you know, thing going on. I'm gonna, give, gonna make a mess for you in the long run. So after, and I've got glue all over these things. Like I've got glue in the back, glue in the front. That's from my hands. My hands are full of glue, but it's okay. It literally just wipes off. Now this one is still a little damp underneath so you can see that it's not perfectly smooth yet, but all that's gonna go right down like that one did eventually. Oh my gosh, these look, these look so good. I'm so excited. Okay, and this one, this is just some brown contemporary uh, bottle that I thought that it would look good too. So it doesn't have to be clear glass. It can be on anything. Oh, this turned out really nice too. Okay, so we've got this, that, 
that. And last but not least, this is, oh, this one turned out great. This is the one that I enlarged because of the size of the bottle. So this started out this size and basically it's just with regular old printer paper. And this is what I came up with. It looks fantastic. This is filled with some black corn that I found. I just thought that was a pretty cool looking, it's pretty neat looking stuff. Anyway, so you don't have to stop there. Once you get this, I feel like now you can, now the fun begins. Okay, do these look great? Absolutely. I mean, I love them all together. But basically, I think that from there, you can just add to it. I feel like you could tie something around. I found some old keys, some ribbon. I've got this wax, antique wax string. Okay, so you just cut a piece of that. I'm gonna wrap that around. You can wrap that around the neck. Uh, pick a bottle, it doesn't matter, and put it around the necks, add some, some junk, any kind from a rusty spring to a feather, it can be anything that you desire. I've got, I've got, oh, I've got this, I found these copper, um, I think this was a paper clip or something, I don't know, I just pulled it apart, I thought it'd be cute if you tie it around the neck, and then you can add a couple keys from the necks, hanging down like that. Then I've got some hug snug here, which is also the um, seam binding. And I just get it damp and scrunch it up and let it roll. And so therefore it's got a little darker look. A little, it, it just gets a more aged look. And you don't have, it's not, it does, not, no perfection here. I feel like the sloppier you tie it, the more ragged it looks, I feel like the better the effect. So basically, um, I just tie it all, knot it up, let it hang, and I, so look at I've got, this one even has its key tag. So I feel like the junkier the better. And if you don't like that look and you wanna keep it clean, that's fine too. I mean, you can add anything you want, even a sleek, gross grain ribbon, whatever you want. So basically, get creative with the bottles, have fun with them, and I hope you go on the site and download the images and make something fantastic with them. It doesn't have to be on a bottle. You can enlarge these images and you can make, you could print a pillow, you could decoupage the top of a table, enlarge them to your needs, shrink them to your needs. It could be a little itty bitty bottle, whatever it is that you decide, I would absolutely love to see it. So basically, we've taken an art form that really wasn't an art form, it was utilitarian. From this little thing being stuck onto this jar over a hundred years ago for inspiration for something that's so new and so fabulous, I absolutely love it and I hope you do too. I really do. I'm so happy. I, I don't know why. These things make me so happy. So have fun. Go junk in. Find some bottles or use the ones in your house. Or even for that matter, if you could get some low glass, um, something that's like a low open wide vase, you can decoupage to the outside and put a candle on the inside. It'll illuminate what you've got printed on the outside. And then it's kind of a really cool technique for nighttime. It is a little romantic and pretty sweet. So enjoy. Bye.